Yeah. So uh, I feel like Nostradamus at the blackjack table, bitches, because I fucking called it. And to be fair, I wasn't alone. When I extrapolated that Call of Duty Elite was just the beginning because the mon- the best money, after all, is free money. Untold legions of fanboys with varying degrees of accompanying BO and cognitive dissonance also made this fairly common sense postulation, but it never stopped being true, despite fevered egos like Yahtzee and some small island by the name of Jim Sterling offering opinions to the contrary. Calm down, they said. You don't have to buy it, they shrieked. And now here we sit with Frank uh, Gibo, I think his name is, uh, president of EA Labels, doing a pirouette out of the corporate closet to inform us that guess what? We were right all along. Not only will the upcoming Black Ops cash in sport its own premium online pass, Mr. Gibo made it clear that in the coming months we'll see the vast majority of online enabled EA titles all make a triple axle swan dive into the fucking commercial sewage right alongside them. Mass Effect, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, you name it. If you're willing to shell out your hard-earned paycheck for it, they're banking that you'll also shell out additional money for that shit that five years ago would have been motherfucking free. Putting aside how intrusive and inappropriate this is going to be in, for example, and until recently atmospheric survival horror title like Dead Space, this also sets a dangerous precedent. All right, you thought on disc DLC was bad, folks. Well, welcome to a brave new world. And no, I'm not talking about the repetitive Iron Maiden album that's at least three times longer than it needs to be. <laughs> this Orwellian fever dream consists of companies of all descriptions faced with economic challenges and shrinking bottom lines, making the gradual transition from giving you a complete game and selling you extras to giving you three quarters of a game and selling you the fucking rest. I mean, if you believe it can't be done, well, why don't you take a long, hard look at a Snickers candy bar? Go! You do it! Right, right the fuck now. Notice anything? Anything at all? Like, oh, the fact that over the past ten years it's gone from six solid inches to the size of Vern Troyer's dong at a pool party? Companies have just... They've been doing this for decades! And I... I'm not delivering a message of futility or inevitability here. Just because somebody, something has always been a certain way doesn't mean it always will be. For example, Sony used to be profitable. Zing! What we can do is remain vociferous in our condemnation of this burgeoning trend and express said reproach in as articulate and specific a fashion as we can. World War I was a conflagration on a larger, more active scale than any previously witnessed by mankind, and yet it still ended with relative inaction. Conversely, Egypt censored the internet, and the entirety of the Middle East revolted as one. Sometimes words possess more raw power, while brute force and decisive action end in impotence. And nobody likes impotence, just ask Alpha's last five girlfriends. I'm Razorfist, God fucking <laughs> <laughs>